Oh, Bethesda, you tease. So yeah, Bethesda just posted this right here. It says, a letter on launch and beyond. And we're going to dive into this letter right now in just a moment. But they're going to be talking about a lot of cool stuff. Uh, PvP factions, vaults opening up in the world, and so much more. Uh, that is coming to Fallout 76 and some really cool fixes as well and updates to the existing game. Uh, but also, I did some data mining of my own in Fallout 76. We're also going to be talking about decrypting nuclear codes. It's a little bit more complicated than first thought. So we're going to be talking about that as well and going over some really cool findings about potential weapons we could be seeing in Fallout 76 uh, down the road. Outfits power armor, and much more. But welcome back, my fellow Vault Dwellers and Wasteland Wonders to Open World Games. Let's do this. So, uh, first of all, yeah, let's go straight to this letter. It's in the description below if you want to read it for yourself. I'm going to go over the mo most important bit here, uh, which says this, and a special thank you to all of our fans who participated in the beta. With your help, we've made the game better uh, each week and this is just the beginning we have an incredible list of updates we've begun work on uh, from camp building improvements new quests and events new vaults opening character respecting a faction based pvp system and much more so that sounds really cool and yes it looks like uh, some of these existing vaults that have been discovered around the wasteland are going to be opening up for us what will be awaiting us inside. Well, of course, this right here also does mention that we will be getting new quests and events. I'm so curious about these quests. I'm also, I know a lot of people are wanting NBCs to be added later down the road. We'll see what happens with that one. So stay tuned if anything like that does actually come to pass where NBCs do, do come to Fallout 76. But overall, I'm really hyped for this because they did also mention that they will be updating the settlements as well. So I'm curious to see if that's going to be expanded upon. Uh, so we shall see. Uh, now, also, they mentioned here uh, character respecting. If you did uh, miss that, that was very much a requested feature by the community. So it seems like they're falling back on feedback from you all out in the uh, community that you really want character respecting, which, in my opinion, would make a lot of sense for this game. A lot of you guys may not want to go back hours and hours and have to replay it simply because that would mean, you know, you are with a group. Usually in this type of game, you want to stick with a group and be consistent with that. Uh, let me know if you guys are soloing or not. But if you are with that group, you don't want to have to start over. You just want to go in and maybe respec. Now, also, one other thing they did mention that I want to touch base here is the faction PvP system. Now, I've talked a lot in my videos about seeing factions, proper factions, that you could join in this game. And it looks like that's going to be happening. So, I'm totally hyped for that one. I think that's going to add a lot to the game for sure. Now, also, a very special thank you goes out to M.A. DePriest and then also Razero who actually pinged me about this news. They were really quick. They instantly got to the news and they uh, messaged me out on Discord and Twitter. Uh, so go ahead, guys. See the description below if you want to follow me out on Twitter. Join my Discord. We have a wonderful group out there. We'd love to have you out there. But uh, go for it. If you have any news, have any findings, hit me up on Twitter and elsewhere. And I will definitely source you if I use it in a video. Now, also, uh, it was recently discovered uh, that you actually have to decrypt the nuclear codes that you obtain to actually launch this nuke. So, uh, there was a nuclear decryptor actually created by Joshua here. It says, Fallout 76 Nuclear Code Decryptor App. Now, uh, this is super important. Whatever you do, go ahead and see uh, that description below because you're going to want to actually save this for later use. Trust me, this uh, guide here lays out how you can actually break the code it requires eight uh you know code pieces in the game that you have to actually find of course and then decrypt this code before you actually can enter it and uh yeah that's super important to know especially considering also you have to remember that these codes do expire i think it's uh within a week at least that's the rumor right now no one knows the exact time uh that these codes expire it could also change 
But another, uh, you know, thing I have to say about that is we need a timer on the codes if they do actually expire. Right now, we don't have an indication of a timer counting down or anything like that for the codes. All right, so let's talk a little bit about data mining. So if you head into the files of Fallout 76, uh, which I was able to head into these, and it's pretty cool what you can find, all of these details. And there's a list of, you know, uh, DLCs and stuff also that's carried over from Fallout 4. Uh, so we can kind of look at this and get an indication as to what might be headed uh, into Fallout 76. Uh, so first of all, what was really cool, this is what I found here, uh, was some really neat uh, weapon skins uh, that would be headed to the actual storefront. And it looks like you would actually obtain these uh, through those atoms. So getting atoms through challenges and then unlocking it in that way. Uh, by the way, a special thank you to uh, Juicehead for finding out about uh, the data mining in the first place. Uh, so thank you to him as well. Now also, uh, furthermore, we have some really cool stuff here. Now the candy cane means that we could be seeing uh, potential themed stuff for Fallout 76, and I think that is going to be a thing as well. So Christmas themes and stuff related to, you know, seasons, holidays, which is something I would like to uh, see. But I really dig uh, the skins for the 44. I love those skins. It makes me want to really get into using this 44 as well. Uh, but there's a wide variety of other skins on offer here, even stuff for the Fat Man as well. Uh, so you can see how uh, cool you can really make your weapons look. But this also extends to, yes, your power armor. Which one is your favorite? Let me know what here is your favorite look for the power armor. There is some more uh, power armor skins and weapon skins and stuff like that beyond what we are seeing here in the files. But I do think that some of this stuff should be left as kind of stuff that you guys can find for yourself when it actually releases. And I'll have updates uh, as to when uh, this does finally officially get announced and added to the store uh, down the road. Uh, but it also uh, extends beyond power armor and weapon skins and goes into, yes, full-blown outfits that you can unlock as well. Some stuff from Fallout 4, as you can see clearly, and then also this cool-looking vampire outfit if you want to join like a vampire cult or make a vampire cult in the world, which I think would be absolutely freaking hilarious. And then some more Western uh, themed stuff. So if you are enjoying Red Dead Redemption 2, I think that would be for you. Uh, definitely, maybe you could do some dueling down the road in Fallout 76. Uh, but beyond that, also, there's some more weird looking outfits. That's how I would describe these. Some more wacky uh, outfits, definitely uh, on showcase here in the uh, ATX storefront for the actual store itself. Uh, but yes, uh, there was some uh, listings here from DLC files. They're like labeled DLC 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, uh, what have you. But uh, what's interesting, they look like weapons that are from previous Fallout DLC. So I don't know if these weapons would actually make it into the game. Or uh, if, again, they are kind of shadow files from Fallout 4. Uh, but it would make a lot of sense, actually, that they would add some of the DLC weapons from the past games into this game. I think that would make a lot of sense. And I think it's something that a lot of people would actually like to see. Of course, we do want to see brand new stuff that has never, ever seen, been seen before. Uh, that's something that should be priority come first. But it would be nice if with an update, say, you got a lot of brand new stuff and then maybe some nostalgia stuff that carried over from, you know, the previous games. I think that would be cool to nod to the other games as well. But you can see how here uh, they mentioned Far Harbor and then VR World Space and then even Nuka World. Uh, so, yeah, I think some of this could be Shadow Files, perhaps. Uh, but we will be getting new weapons and stuff down the road for Fallout 76. So I will keep you up to date what those will be. But guys, now it's time to go over your top comments. Be sure to leave a comment down below for a chance for it to end up in a future video. But shall we begin? I think we will. Uh, so first of all, the first top comment comes from, let's take a look here, Legion who says, well, that gigantic patch will hopefully fix most of the issues. Uh, yeah, so there's going to be a day one patch for Fallout 76, 56 gigabytes. It sounds like their patches are pretty 
inefficient on, on how they actually, uh, you know, have you download them. It's usually you download maybe a gigabyte, two gigabytes, or like six gigabytes, but they're having you, I think, re-download previous patches or something like that. But, yes, it's going to be a big patch, and it is going to be uh, fixing uh, a lot of stuff. So, the thing that I noticed with the beta, which was great, is they kept fixing stuff continuously. You know, the frame rate for me personally kept improving, and then there were less issues with other things as well. But it was nice to see that they were that aggressive with fixing stuff. And I hope they keep to it and keep fixing the game because I feel like it has potential of getting better and better and better. Next up, we have Clark who says, Yeah, the whole workshop and stash issue is a major break in the game for me. Not being able to sell ammo is frustrating since it has been in the other Fallout games. And, and the sharing of caps between vendors is just stupid. Uh, yeah, someone also told me that the sharing of caps between vendors might be shared between specific vendors in the world and that you might actually find other vendors that share caps of their own. We'll look into it, uh, but it seems like it is a problem and a lot of you guys did notice that as well. Now, you also uh, mentioned the stash issue. Uh, the thing is for me, I think going forward, the mission statement for Bethesda and the developers should be, hey, we want to make sure... Uh, that with this game, you're not staying in menus. You're staying like in menus barely in this game. And we want you to enjoy the game for the most part. Because I think a lot of my time, I think 50% of my time in, in this game has been in menu so far. Just managing menu. So, hopefully they tone that back down the road. Man, I don't know why you skipped that glue. But uh, anyway, that's just me. That's because we were rushing. We were absolutely beelining it. If you're wondering why I skipped some stuff in my videos, I'm beelining it to Cranberry Bog. And we're like nearing the end of the beta here it's like the servers are counting down so a lot of rushing going on in this footage don't judge this footage so uh moving on we have little piggy no little piggy no no little piggy no no who <laughs> says what i think the game needs is another tab that separates junk and resources junk as in whatever you can find like desk fans and typewriters etc and actual raw resources like metal scrap wood and adhesive there were many times in the beta where my Group would go in, go ahead of me, excuse me, and I had hurriedly put all my junk into my stash to catch up with them. Yes, launch is like one to two days away, but even in the main game, I have a feeling everyone will have to put away items quickly to catch up to the group. I got that feeling as well. I felt like, man, I don't want to hold up the group. I usually take my time, but I was like, geez, all this inventory, trying to figure out what to keep, what not to keep, you know, what to break down, stuff like that, what to sell. Uh, it takes some time. You don't want to be the guy that's like taking too long on stuff. But uh, uh, yeah, guys, thank you so much for the comments. Keep them coming. You may end up in a video. And uh, yes, thank you all also for notifying me of the news whenever it releases. That is super helpful for real because, uh, you know, sometimes I'm doing other things. And then all of a sudden I see this ping and I'm like, oh, here is some news. Sweet. We got some news for uh, Fallout uh, 76. Uh, but yes, yeah, stay tuned here. Two open world games for more Fallout 76 news and updates. I'll keep you up to date about these DLCs and anything happening around them, uh, which is really nice that they're going to be free. Like, that is so freaking awesome uh, that they are going to be free. Uh, but, guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more, and I will see you once again in the Wasteland. Take care.